So, uh, it's been a while. I have a lot of packages to open. This is a couple of weeks worth of packages that you guys sent me. When I'm not doing well, I don't feel very worthy of anything, really, and I just... To be honest, I don't feel like I deserve these things, so I wasn't able to bring myself to open them. Uh, so they've been piling up, and uh, I figured that now I would open them since it's my birthday on Tuesday. I'm gonna start with some letters. If you guys are wondering how to send me letters and stuff like that, I'm gonna go ahead and leave my address in the description of this video. I'm not afraid of putting my address online, I'm not afraid of you guys. <laughs> It's a Van Gogh calendar! Oh shit, that's so exciting. They sent me this like, super crazy realistic drawing of myself. Oh my god. Dear Aaron, happy early birthday. I remembered when you said on a podcast that you loved the Starry Night painting, and so I knew I had to get it for you. I really hope that you like it. That's so sweet, like you're out in the world, not internet related, and you see a thing and you think of like, my art loving ass. Like, I don't know, I think that's really sweet. You seriously have no idea just how much your videos and posts mean to so many people, including me. This is one of the most heartfelt letters that I've ever received. I, this really hit me hard. I think it's because you not only addressed like my videos, but my posts as well, because the only thing that I've ever been consistent with. You're rude. I'm sorry, that's my cat suffering. The only thing that I've ever been consistent with have been my posts. I post on Instagram and I often feel like that's just like, I feel like it's not enough and it makes me sad because I'm like, this this is my place. Like, yes, I have a place on YouTube, but where I started, where I found my community, where I found my friends, it was through Instagram. It's just, for me, such an important platform and I guess it's, as a visual artist, that's probably why it's such an effective platform to me. I, I don't know, but the fact that you acknowledged my posts, that, that actually makes me really happy because I, like I said, I never feel like I'm doing enough and I feel like my posts don't help anybody and I should be more active in other ways and it's just, I'm glad that they could help you in any way possible. I this is so cute! He sent me a Polaroid! Oh my god, I want to send you a Polaroid back! Could I do that because I actually have your address on this envelope? Could I send you a Polaroid? Please let me know if that's okay and if it's not weird. Oh my god, this is so cute! Fragile! <laughs> It's a picture of me, but the little fragile kills me. <laughs> Dear Aaron, I just wanted to say thank you for everything you do for the Sprouts. Because of you, I started to paint and draw again. Yes, babe. I actually found my passion, one of the few things that made, make me happy again, because of you and your art and your love for it. Thank you so, so much. Your Sprout, Noah. Thank you for including your Instagram handle. I'm gonna follow you, boy. This is so cute and so sweet and let me know if it's okay if I uh, send you a Polaroid. Actually, I'm going to just add you on Instagram and message you and be like, Hey, what's up? Your boy's an internet creep. I bet you didn't know that. <laughs> you probably did. The letters are making me feel so much better. Thank you guys. Oh my god, I got- yes, I got another pol- I'm so excited that I'm getting Polaroids. It's a- a kidder, a little kidder. Dear Erin, my name is Kaden, and I would like to say thank you so much for what you do. My parents aren't very accepting, unfortunately. I'm out to my friends, and I tried to come out to my parents, but they basically said, no, you're not trans. I know you better than you know yourself. Oh my god. I know exactly what that feels like. One of my parents tried to pull that on me as well, and just, oh god. Stay in your lane. Stop swerving. Anyway, please hang in there. You are valid. Your parents do not know you better than you know yourself. Just trust yourself and talk to your therapist. And this is another rant for another day, but you get what I'm saying. I love you. Hang in there. Oh my god. Damn sick gains. I'm so, I really, I live off protein bars. Enjoy your gift, Erin. This has been sent with love from South Africa. Remember you are perfect the way you are. Enjoy these bars for all the sick gains. Thank you so much for the sick gains. These, eh, these guys. I uh, haven't been working out at all. <laughs> Hi Erin, you're one of my favorite people and make me smile whenever I'm having a down day. You deserve total happiness. Happy birthday! I originally wanted to say a lot of things with T's in them because I like how you say your T's, Drew. Oh my god, that's so cute! I wait. <laughs> I'm not sure how I say my T's. I'm trying to think of words that start with the letter T. Later tots. <laughs> thank you for the sick gains, thank you for food, I really appreciate it, this is, this is what I live off of. <laughs>
This is a Windsor Newton black drawing ink. So it make like more black and white watercolor looking things like that thing I posted of the moon like a while back like back in December. Thank you. I literally had no more black ink. I made one piece with the little ink I had left and I was like Bend all your time waiting to receive new ink. Also, um, I think this was one of the things that was sent where you can't leave a letter, uh, like like a note. If ever that happens, feel free to email me if you want to talk to me or you want me to, uh, like, I will definitely respond to you if you send me a note. Like, hey, I sent you this thing that you opened on video. Like, I hope you like it. And I get to be like, oh, sick, thank you, udabomb.com. And like, you know, I love you. Thank you. Y'all are gonna think I'm ridiculous. My friend, chocolate is always a good answer. Shine. Oh my god, I didn't even- I didn't even have to read the name. I saw Shine and I was like, Rosa, I know it's you. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's- okay. I know you guys think I'm ridiculous. It's more protein bars. I had put like one of every flavor because they were like on sale and I was like, why not add these to my list? This is all I eat anyway and I can't afford them right now. So, thank you, Rosa. I really appreciate it. I love watching you and just watching your videos help me not be depressed while I'm sitting in the closet. Oh my god. My mom doesn't want to lose her daughter, and my dad thinks it's a phase. Face palm from Michael. Michael, email me. I'm so sorry that you're going through this right now, and this really hit me hard. Um, deserve so much better. I want to make sure you're okay. It's a trans pride flag because I don't own one actually, and I wanted to put one up in um what is my new office? And again, you you haven't seen yet, but it'll be basically behind me here on this uh, sofa that was purchased in 1992. Yes, this sofa is not only older than me, but probably older than most of you guys. Thank you so much, man, but like, please feel free to email me. My email is in my description. And please hang in there and stay safe. Something little, but I hope it helps. Just carry on being awesome. If ever, if you ever want to rant or chat with someone disconnected from your circles, please feel free to hit me up on your Facebook. Thank you, Carl. Okay, again, don't judge me. Don't judge me. There are only like six bars in each of these boxes. And again, this is what I eat all day, every day. Because I don't have the mental health to actually prepare food anymore. And these sick palette knives, yes. Amazing, thank you so much, man. Oh my god, you went like all out. Aaron, I feel like every time I get paid, the first thing I do is get something off your wish list. Oh my god. Or send you a stuffed banana to the podcast. Money and material things are never something I've struggled with, but that doesn't mean I've never desired something. I'm from a small town in Texas where I didn't even know what trans meant. I'm in New York City now and I've been able to transition, but I still feel so removed from the trans community since I don't have anyone I can talk to about transitioning. Listening to the podcast and watching you and Chase allow me to feel as though I'm part of something and less alone in the world. I hope that makes sense. Then there's a quote, fall seven times, stand up eight. Dan. Okay, that was both inspirational and, and sad. Like, I hope as time goes on you feel less removed from the trans community, and I hope that like at least at least you feel like part of the Sprout community. Like And like you went all out. Look okay. This is a Wii sensor bar because my cat literally chew chewed through the wire. And this, oh my god, I'm so excited about this. This is um a light that like projects onto the, the ceiling and the walls and it looks like you're underwater and your boy's afraid of the dark and I've been sitting with a nightlight my entire life. So thank you, now I get to have a super lit nightlight. This is like therapeutic for me. And oh my god, oh my god, this starry night shower curtain. I am so excited about this, oh shit. I've needed a shower curtain forever, but like Yo, that sick Van Gogh life. On the days where it's hard for me to get out of bed and shower, I have a reason to get out of bed and go to the bathroom and go in the shower because this is so freaking aesthetic. Thank you, this is just very therapeutic for me and makes me really happy. I really appreciate it. Oh shit, these are um, rings for embroidery because I wanna learn how to embroider so I put a bunch of like embroidery material on my wish list. So this is the first step to me finally being able to start embroidering and like I do a lot of floral work and stuff like that and I just figured embroidery is like the next step in the next the next step in the artistic direction I wanna wanna go in. Yeah? So thank you, I don't know where that came from, but like I said you could go ahead and email me and I will email you back.
this is this teeny tiny letter from Dan. Dan? This is exciting because I have no idea what it is. I mean, it's always exciting, but now it's like, oh, what? Is this like lime flavor or like lemon, lemon banana flavor? Boy. Oh my god! Oh my god! Did you did you make this? It's a little knitted sprout. What? That's amazing. Oh my god! With a little tiny pot. It's so cute. Oh my god! I love it. I want to name it. Leave a suggestion for what I should name this little knitted sprout. And this is officially the mascot for my channel. I love this so much. Thank you, Dan. Oh my god! So lit. It's a Doctor Who Dalek poster, and that's very old school. It's very like. World War II propaganda looking poster or very like George Orwell's 1984 vibes and I love it. And again, it's for my lit new office. Dear Aaron, happy birthday. I hope you enjoy this and it helps you be creative and continue to make videos. I always look forward to them. Mike. Mike, is this... Is this what I think it is? It's about the size and weight of something I think that you said be creative and I was like... Oh my god. Oh my god, Mike. Oh my god. It's um a keyboard so that I could record like my own background music for my videos, which is like what I've been dying to do. I can't breathe. Um ready for some lit background music. Thanks to Mike. Mike, this is a shout out to you. Whenever you hear lit background music, you'll be like, that's because of me. This is so exciting. I wanna open it now. You know I'm gonna open it now, right? <laughs> Thank you, that was incredible. <laughs> I'm like so excited, oh my god. I have things to do today and now all I want to do is play keyboard. Thank you for giving me a space I feel welcomed and accepted in and giving me a time to smile. Even if it's just me watching you and Chase on the podcast, Kaden. Kaden, babe. Look at this, oh my god. This is paint. This is 48 tubes of paint, so like a ton of colors. I've only ever got myself the primary colors of paint and then mixed any color that I can out of those colors. But now I have like 48 colors. What I, <laughs> you know what I could do with this? There are colors in here that I cannot mix by hand. This is so ex I've never had this much variety of paints to choose from. Look at all these goddamn colors. Thank you, Caden. This makes me so happy. Oh my God, thank you. This is a Winsor & Newton white blender pen. I know nobody cares except for me. <laughs> Every one marker I use, I go through like two blenders, so thank you. I always need blending pens, well, blending markers. I'm, like, I'm sure you guys are so tired of watching me like get markers and get excited about it every single time. You're probably like, Aaron, hun, how many times could you get excited about the same markers? And it's like, they're different. And even if they're the same, it's because I run out. It's not like I have one marker and it lasts me for the rest of my life. I have one marker and it lasts me like give or take two weeks. I, art supplies. The reason why they're expensive and it's difficult to get them is because it's not something you buy once. <laughs> you need to buy it over and over and over again. Like all those fine tip marker drawings that you see on my Instagram, like I go through one of those like 0.1 size black markers maybe like every week, two weeks. So like you have to keep buying more. That's why it's expensive. You can't just have one and be like, for the rest of my life. <laughs> Hi Aaron, I hope this will be useful for you. I'm not good with words. Hashtag dyslexic life. I feel you. But just know that you mean so much to so many people. Lots of love from Ryan in the UK. Oh my god. For that thing I said about art supplies and how like one isn't always enough, I also have a pack of 24 paints. It makes you feel better they're different colors, but thank you so much. I just. So excited to start making little paintings. I love listening to the podcast and all the little insiders and probably watched every episode so far. It's perfect for listening to, to relax. Greetings from a cis fan from Germany, Kira. Not good with words. A. Uh, first of all, Kira, I really love your name. That is a beautiful name. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. But also, thanks for the sick games. Listen, guys, listen, listen. This is like a couple of weeks worth of packages because I have not been doing well and I've been just letting them pile up because I feel guilty for even receiving them. But also, my mental health is garbage, so all I eat are protein bars and I drink protein powder and like I have a vegetable every now and then when I could like force myself to open the fridge. But I see one of you guys in the comments shading me for eating protein bars all the time, being like, they're not good for you. They are. 
these ones specifically. Don't hurt me, these are the only things that I could force myself to consume right now. It's either that or I'm just gonna perish. You've created such an amazing community with the podcast. It's like it's connecting our bedrooms and making them safe. You legit make my bedroom feel safer. You're incredible. Thank you so, so much, Cade. That's beautiful. What? I love that because my bedroom was always my safe space uh, growing up. And e even now, let's be honest, I just never felt secure and just my bedroom was the place. It was just so important for me to feel safe in that room. So the fact that I could make you feel safer in your safe space is just incredible, honestly. Just, it makes me feel so good. Thank you for that. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry for a minute, I was like, what is this? It's a carrying case for um, the headphones that I use when I'm editing videos. They're not the best headphones in the world, but like, the, the ones I got and I don't want them to break. Thank you. You're allowing me to feel safe on the metro and in public transit and in public places, because now I don't have to listen to anybody. Oh my god. I... It's, it's a MacBook. I'm like really excited, but I'm afraid to get excited because like, this paper is very scary. This paper is like, if your computer doesn't work, please call us. God, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna start screaming. I am so excited. I... Fingers crossed, everyone, please just send me good vibes. That... Charge your notebook's battery completely, approximately four hours before using it unplugged. So, um, I'm trying the computer and so far, so good. I am freaking out. Thank you so much, honestly. I. I was just like, I'm not gonna get my hopes up until I turn it on, and then I turned it on, and it's working, and um, I don't know what to do with myself, honestly. This is absolutely amazing. I am so happy. I could like, uh, I could cry, but uh, but I won't. But I feel like I could. I, I can't believe I have a functional Mac computer that belongs to me. Like, it's mine. Like, I, <laughs> I, I am not used to having nice things. <laughs> So thank you, I just wanted to throw this in so that you would see that, like, it's on, it's running, it's functional, we Gucci! We Gucci. Enjoy the rest of the video. <laughs> you guys seem to think I'm ridiculous, okay? I would just like to say that I really appreciate the videos that you have put out for us to watch. Sometimes you say things in just the right way that resonates with me so much. Thank you, happy birthday, Aaron, from Andy. Andy, that's so sweet. Okay, I'm gonna start with this. You guys are gonna think I'm ridiculous, but um, I live off of cereal and protein bars. That's because they're things that you just, you open them and you scaff them in your mouth and you're good. And this is a cereal that like, I we don't have here and I was super excited because look, there's like, there's like chocolate inside. You could ask my girlfriend, actually one day, one day I'll show you my pantry because it's just protein bars and, and cereal. It's like actually ridiculous. An adult lives here apparently. Oh my god! It is the Halo Master Chief collection. And Chase was the one who told me to get this. He's like, please get it and we can play together, please. Um, just putting it out there, um, if any of you guys have an Xbox One and have either Halo Master Chief collection or you have Halo 5 or you have Destiny, pick me up. We're gonna, we could play together. I, I don't remember what my gamer tag is. I'm going to find, I think, I think it's Aaron Radwolf. Um, if you want to add me and we can play together and like I have a headphone so it's almost like we're Skyping but like without the anxiety of Skyping because we're playing a game so there's no pressure and we could talk about the game we could do that we could be friends we, we could play games together almost like we're chilling together so like please let's do that let's all play games together oh my god I'm really excited why did I not think of this before hey Aaron wishing you peace on your journey to wellness after work, I love to kick back in the recliner with some Chipotle and watch the podcast on the big screen. Love you. Hashtag mask. Chelsea. Kelsey? I think it's Kelsey. I think it's pronounced Kelsey. Oh my god. You guys are gonna think I'm ridiculous. It is pink tool set. Because <laughs> I don't own a single tool in this home. You know how hard it is when I just need to unscrew something? I'm like, okay, get out the knives and the butter knives, get a fork, maybe a spoon, fucking draw a pentagram on the floor, like... I was like, I just, I need to get a toolkit, but that's so mask. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna put a pink one on my list because you have to have the pink to balance out the mask. So thank you. I'm really excited to actually be able to like build things and not have to use just like a blunt rock to hammer things into the wall anymore. So there's one thing that I know what it is because it's written on the box. This is a keyboard stand. It's hard to play keyboard on your lap 
or like on a table that's really high up because then you're playing keyboard up here. So I was like, I really could use a keyboard stand and eventually I'm going to have my own keyboard and I'll be able to use it. But now I do have my own keyboard because I'm like, okay, so I'm here opening my keyboard stand and I see this, this little tiny, little tiny thing stuck in plastic like to the box. I'm like, whoa, what, what could that be? Goddamn note. I didn't read on the video, so I'm gonna edit this in and then you can return to the video. Uh, enjoy your gift. It occurred to me that these accessories will help with your keyboard playing. Happy birthday and Valentine's Day from Mike. Mike, I think you're officially my Valentine. I'm pretty I, like, I'm not sure how it works, but I think that's how it works. Anyway, <laughs> sorry that this is weird and choppy. Uh, you could return to the video now. Just, all right, sick. The other thing that I know what it is, is really heavy. And so I cannot lift it to show it to you here, but it is, it's an exercise bike and I'm so excited and I'm going to um, probably start crying. It's like a spinning bike and that is incredible for me and so important to my mental health because I haven't been feeling well enough to go outside on most days and to go run and I'm, uh, I have trouble running because then I get injured and I cannot emotionally handle the stress of injuring myself right now so I just, and I can't bike because it's winter so I was like I need to be able you're rude! I'm, we're having a conversation! I'm sorry, my cat's yelling in the background. I just, I needed to be able to exercise in my house. That was so important to me, so now I, I can do that, and I'm really, really excited, and I don't have the words to explain to you how much all this means to me, because these are things that, like, it's not even like I would be able to save up and eventually afford them. They're things that I, I would never be able to get for myself. I never would even think about getting for myself, so it's like, this is above and beyond what I ever thought I would have, or what I even feel like I deserve, so... Thank you. I'm in the middle of filming a completely different video and I look down at the exercise bike that I received and I see this little note plastered to it and I'm like, what's that? I thought this didn't come with a note. I lean in. Happy birthday, Aaron. Enjoy your gift. Richard. Is this the like OG Richard? Is this the like, because if it is, every time I see something from you, I'm like, oh my God, it's Richard. I'm in the presence of a celebrity. So I just wanted to say, because I always read the messages out loud. I didn't see the message because it was on the other side of the box. So yeah, I just wanted to read your message out loud. Thanks, Richard. All right, back to the, back to the video. <laughs> now there is this huge box. Do you know how satisfying that was? A lot of box. Sorry, you have like my titty in your face. I'm not actually sorry. <laughs> this huge, okay, that kills me. This huge package, it's gift wrapped. There's a note, I opened it. Expecting like this long winded, like I don't know, something. Look, enjoy your gift the teeniest, tiniest print on this little letter. I'm sorry, I found that somehow like ironic maybe? Is that the word I'm looking for? My God. Okay, so um, we have gone full circle. This is a keyboard bench, which I guess if you don't play keyboard, you don't understand why it's important or why it's necessary, but when you're playing keyboard and your keyboard is, first of all, if you're playing something and you need to be playing high, you're not gonna sit in the center of the keyboard, you need to play high, but then if somehow through the song you end up having to be on the low end, you're not gonna play like this. So, keyboard benches are long, so you can play here, and then when you need to move there, you can slide over, you don't have to move your full physical chair. And also, they're adjustable in height, so if my keyboard is a little too high, it's hard to play keyboard up here, like where a desk would be. A keyboard needs to be like down here, so that I can see what I'm doing, but also so that I have the full range of my arms, right? Anyway, the point being, <laughs> Keyboard benches are important and I really appreciate it and my back really appreciates it. Thank you, bless. Okay, so um, this was all really incredible and I still don't feel like I deserve all this kindness, but I love you guys and I appreciate all of you so much. You have no idea the love that I have for you. Like, I wish you could understand. You would never feel unloved again. I'm gonna go ahead and um, give you a hug again because I really do enjoy giving you hugs. I like that this is a thing that we do. Feel free to hug me back. We're gonna, we're gonna hug it out. Okay, sick. Sick, nice. Thank you. You're so appreciated. And uh, I hope you all have a wonderful week. I appreciate all of you for sticking with me and for just hanging in there and believing in me and encouraging me. I really hope you have a nice week and I hope you have a nice Valentine's Day. Bye.